welcome to episode 14 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Stockport County. I want to start on the Squad Hub page because look at the morale of this team. It is glowing. We're all positive apart from Paul and Tage. Might have to give him a couple of games just to try and lighten the mood there. Uh, guys, what's happened to Perez Lopez's headband? Hello there, Posh Katsy here. I'm filling in for Jamie today. That fine fellow has lost his voice, probably shouting a croquet or something. I would like to give Wesley Martina this message. Perez Lopez's headband has been stolen in some kind of practical joke, and the teammates behind it only promise to give it him back if he gets at least three goal contributions this episode. Ah, player power these days. Anywho, that's enough from me. Toodles! I'm not gonna lie, Chief. That sounds like blackmail. I'm trying to clear out the inbox as much as I possibly can so I can keep a hold of the players. A lot of micromanagement going on. Jang Sung Chan wants to play in front of Duda. It's Stockport against Walsall. He actually wasn't all there results-wise last episode. We gotta act like top of the league. Here we go. Perez Lopez, goal <laughs> contribution. Just get into the box, Pegarara! Juicy John! It's hit wide. Why do my strikers have a fear of getting into the box? Best defensive teams. Three goals conceded in seven matches. Then kind of statistics get Wes Martinez sexually excited. Through, there you go. Rasmus Pearson will show these strikers how to finish. Maybe not today. <laughs> that was definitely struck like a player that has only one goal to his name. Pearson fails to switch it. Walsall might have... A chance, Jang Sung Chan misses the interception, and we're lucky that that has missed the target. In his own words, the South Korean said that he was gonna do better than Duda. At this point, halfway through the first 45, he, he hasn't done that. And Tege with his first save. Perez Lopez cutting inside right then, Juicy John, back heel Pegoraro, lovely goal! from Stockport County. That is quality play. And not a goal contribution there by Perez Lopez, but he really did get involved. So to Juicy John, edge of the box. That's going over. But you see the space that Walsall are allowing us to have in the final third. Can flex our muscles a little bit here. That's better from Jang Sung Chan. He hasn't really covered himself in glory today. I think he's actually defending another South Korean, that number 13. Kim Jong Min playing for Walsall. There's a lot of East Asian representation. 1-0 Stockport at the break. And they're out by Jang Sung Chan. You would expect that's what he do. Oh, what is going on? Kowalczyk. He's right there. How have you not marked him? You've just let him wander to the bike post. That wasn't a pass across. I'm pretty sure the ball was actually intended as a shot. We'll have a look at this. Yeah, that's definitely a shot. Speed by Perez Lopez. Really, really difficult to defend against. Well played, guys. Come on, Jang. Push him. He's not winning the ball with any kind of conviction. Jimmy Gallagher. Oh, can't pass it into Juicy John. Red like a book. Good effort as well, had uh, Antege panicking. Looked like it was gonna nestle into that top corner. Probably should be making some substitutions. Jang Sung Jan is getting pulled off this pitch. Let's have Sanders on the left-hand side. It's not been Kowalczyk's finest moment. Gotta get a bit more zip on them passes, lads. He's probably onside. It's a solid save by Antege. No matter if that flag goes up, gotta respect the stop that the goalkeeper's just given us. Champions convert these tough draws into wins. They grind out results. Let's bring on Noah Anderson for Pearson. Really want to bring Rayner in. Ah, uh, maybe on the right-hand side, Johnson hasn't been particularly good. If Walsall go for it as well, that could really open up the game. There's a winner and there's limbs on my mind. Not like that, it makes me sound like a murderer. Come on, Walsall, give me the moment. It's well done, Sanders. That's great by the Colonel. Jimmy Gallagher had to play it to Juicy John. This is the moment for limbs. Oh, and these limbs to be had. I knew it, Juicy John. <laughs> what a finish off the underside of the crossbar. Stockport County have got a late win. Players flooding Juicy. Someone in a training jacket was like on top of them. It was a proper pile on. I love it. That's only his second goal of the league season, but one important one to get. Nice tackle. Gallagher clever to Lopez. 
And he can run with it. Oh boy, he can run with it. Send it to Pegoraro. Walsall haven't really got the numbers at the back. They're trying to get themselves an equaliser. It's too late. Stockport County to Walsall 1. Just such an entertaining game to start the episode. Very open at both ends. Walsall could have snatched it as well, but they did not. I'm almost at full manager rating. We're top of League 2 after 8 games played. Everybody's played 8 around us as well. What a glorious moment to be a Stockport fan. Because I feel bad for dude though. You know, Jang Sung Chan trying to throw him under a bus. He's starting today away against Cambridge. Duda and Dada. Anderson, very high up. Juicy John, yet again, just dropping back and helping out the midfield with his quality passing game. Fantastic from Stockport. Look at this control. Now we just need to find an opening. Is the opening going to come from Juicy John? We want to see Kowalczyk being switched on. That's a good stop. A foot in. Hasn't really helped us. Yes, yes, just about, please. Oh, it's wide by Cambridge. And Tege looks like a great goalkeeper, but it doesn't change Lopez's status as number one. He clearly is number one. Wow, we are playing some good stuff. Gallagher, Pegararo is offside. Some slick, beautiful football. And Noah Anderson's really coming into his own. Might be a proper contender for that place. Rasmus Pearson a little bit scared. His fellow countryman is coming after him. Bringing Dad up. Just got to force them into a pass. Dude has got to be a little bit close to his man there. Good sliding tackle and phenomenal clearance. Yes, you've heard it right. It's another goalless game so far. Well done, Kowalczyk. That's quality. Quality. And stings the ball into Juicy John. Eddie Johnson's there on the right. Passing's been really good for the most part. This is more like it from the left back. What a game he's having. Yes, 63rd minute, perfect time for some substitutions. We'll have Gerrard, Sanders, Pearson, Jang Sung Chan. Maybe even Lopez. It's all five in one go for Stockport. Fantastic ball. And they've just taken Dada completely out of it with the pass across. I, I think Jang Sung Chan stick it into his own net. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles. With your host, Yuko E.K. Ball increased in size beyond my understanding until it hit me. Well then, that's really what you get for trying to force yourself into the first team. It's a great finish by Jang. Oh, amazing, mate. Really, really good stuff. Now that is a disaster. Physical monster or not, if you're going to act like a fool and do silly stuff like that, you're not going to be playing for... Stockport for much longer. That is abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. We're having to try and salvage a point. This second half, Cambridge have been far the better team. It was quite even going into half time. We didn't take things up into another gear and then Jang Sung Chan decided to take matters into his own hands. Fantastic. Cheers, Jang. I've never seen in one episode someone shoot themselves in the foot as much. I bet he took Perez Lopez's headband. Just because he wanted to. It's Stockport County against Exeter City. It does feel like there's slightly more confidence on the ball. Go on, Gerrard, finish that! Oh, Ramon Gerrard! What a finisher! That is phenomenal. One touch, bang! Don't really know what's going on with the TV. Freaking out a little bit. Bang! Have some of that. Goalkeeper has absolutely no chance. Going loco now though we got Soto. He can do no wrong. No, oh, no. Commentator's curse. Here's Caprice. Sanders gets a touch. Ah. Big save by Lopez. The dreaded corner kick. Oh, Kowalczyk wins the header. Yeah, that's all dadders. Not the best of touches. Oh, he still intercepts. He still gets the job done. Opportunities to cross. Ha! <laughs> Pearson cannot cross. That's half time at 1 0 Stockport. Yeah, go outside now. Go on, Pavel. Surely you've got the legs. No, no, no. We'll have to go back into the midfield. Oh, I've read it. That's a handball as well. Yes, set it up. Boom! It is Gero. Great voice crack. It's a finishing display by Ramon Gero. He is outstanding. Wonderful read off the goal kick as well. Held down sprint. Oh, that touch. Oh, fantastic. It is marvellous by the goalkeeper. It is like point blank range. He just made himself big. Ball rolls. There's quality from Novak. Absolute quality. There's an interception by Sanders. Excellent today. Jang Sung Chan has just pressed self-destruct on his career. Gera's not going to be eyeing up a hat trick. 
Oh, clean sheet of the highest order. Stockport County 2, X to nil. Now that was a champion's performance. Total quality from first whistle to last. That only means one thing to me, a confirmation of what I knew before that game. You are out of here, sunshine. I can't even transfer list him yet because we've just signed him up. Add him to the loan list for the time being. We're done, we're moving on. Like, Sanders is a better centre back than you. Duda's obviously shown that he's a better centre back than you. You've gone and scored an own goal when you're like, I clearly should be playing in games, important games. No, you shouldn't be. Sorry, mate. This episode has changed uh, my perception on players quite drastically. So what Jangs and Jans made me realise is it's not extra defensive cover that we were really looking for. It's extra midfield cover. And he could turn into a midfielder, but I don't don't like the player anymore. Sutton United against Stockport. Do I have to sleep on it and think, wait, hang on, he's just had one bad episode. He's acted like a t Things can be better. He's an absolute monster. There is no doubt in that. He could really give us a presence in midfield. But there's also that lad from Peñarol that we might be able to uh, come to some kind of agreement, maybe pushing a couple of central midfielders their way. Come on, Perez Lopez. On the breakaway, Stockport County needs to pass this player. Kind of ran into Barden. These guys mean business. Garner gang link up. Eddie Johnson is struggling. They're trying to force the ball as much as they can, as quick as they can. And they're not allowing our defence to set up. Meanwhile, in comparison, our attacking play is a little bit slow. There's players sweeping forward here. Randall and Duda in the right place. But you see it, just immediately they're thinking about pushing this ball forward at all times. Oh my goodness, everything has been spot on by them so far. You take on one, you can't get past another. Over the top, keep it ticking, Noah Anderson. Long shot, yes! The power shot! Let's get it on hypermotion! Smashed home by Noah Anderson! Yes! 110 kilometers an hour! Get in there! God, we needed that! What a moment! Wesley Martina is all over it. You get that new celebration as well. Oh, Noah Anderson he is a bit special. Let's grind out these results. Garner gang link up. Eddie Johnson play it across Pegararo's onside. And we've got a back heel in as well. Stockport County 2-0. So come on, Pegararo. Stockport Italiano. We've got wild, wild, wild. Not really felt any need to make any substitutions. And with this defensive performance, Jang Sung Chan is dusted. He's done for. Sanders was excellent. Dada was excellent. I don't know how we didn't concede there because they were all over us at times. Because of how quickly they pounced on us, my commentary just like dissolved into a, into a babbling mess. This was right at the start of the game. Uray Lopez with two big crucial saves as it turns out. So that was to uh, make this particular corner. And then what a stop. What a stop to flick that over the bar. A new month and some scouting reports to go through. This is the final one from Canada. Still nothing. I think we'll stay in Canada for three more months. But if it doesn't bring back anything after that, then we're moving on. Nothing in Nepal. So it's all up to Roly Sep in Mexico. Three good players, two of which I'm going to sign. Alejandro Cruz, a wing bike. He's got an all right overall, slightly lower maximum potential than you're looking for at 94. No interesting name, but the players on the right here are pretty outstanding and in different positions. Of course, we're going for physically strong players. Most of them will be defenders, but sometimes you get a player like this. This is Diego Caballero, and he's some kind of attacking player. And we're expecting this lad, Joel Valadez, to be a central midfielder. That was quick. Torino giving us a, a loan offer for Jang Sung Chan. Uray Lopez could save Mufasa. Yikes. What's this all about? Can't wait for that episode where Buster Mante gets injured and ruins an entire season in terms of defense. Don't be wishing that stuff upon me. How is it time to increase the difficulty? McDonald taking time off the farm to be on the wing. McDonald's.
Burger King. All right, guys, that's the end of the episode. Your involvement in this series has been amazing and it is building like loads of positive energy. I want that to continue providing you with real quality episodes of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you've not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. Big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me financially on Patreon. You guys are complete legends. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.